to Air of the Aries out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of May 17th through the 23rd. This reading is for all of the Aries out there again, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like I am the reader for you, hit the subscription link to show some support along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also hit the thumbs up image to help this video circulate so that it may find someone else that needs clarity, enlightenment, and guidance pertaining to their situation in love or finances. If you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. I am taking private readings at this time. And if this is your story, comment below, let me know. I do like to hear feedback and I will comment back. All right, so we are going to start the reading. Spirit, what is the energy for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And remember, in tarot, this could be your energy or your partner's. We have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands. Okay. The Four of Cups. The Seven of Swords. The Eight of Cups. The Ten of Wands. The King of Wands. Okay, so we, I see a lot of your energy here. All right, let's see what else. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. So some of you may be embarking on um, new emotional experiences, tapping into new emotional areas that you have not tapped into before. Yeah. I see, I feel like some of you are starting or finishing something that you started. You are, are experiencing new opportunities and you're allowing your creativity to soar. You're doing things that fuels your passion. And I feel like you are doing that so you won't feel lost so you, it, I feel like this is for, you are doing these things as a distraction. You are doing these things as a distraction because you are moving away from people and things that no longer serve you. You're getting away from people and things that no longer serve you. You are turning your back on that. You are setting out on a new spiritual quest and you are choosing to make bigger and better decisions for your life some of you may be moving or um feeling to need to leave a home behind and i feel like this is causing you some type of um stress could be feeling overwhelmed some of you could be having headaches at this time because you are not really sure of what you want to do because this, um, you could have foundation, like this, this could be your foundation. This home could be your foundation. Some of you need to pay attention to your health as well. If you are having headaches, you may need to go see a doctor if they are becoming like more frequent or feeling like migraines. You may need to see a doctor. I am not a physician. I'm just giving the message, the energy that's in the cards. I'm seeing some of you stepping into the spotlight, taking a lead. You may be a leader. Um, like people may listen to you. You may be communicating your vision to other people at this time. But I see you taking the lead. I'm just seeing you do and put forth work to distract you from something. 
And it, it, it may have taken you a long time to get to this point. But I'm feeling like um, now that you have stepped into this new territory, things are moving quickly for you. Things are moving quickly. Unexpected events may occur. You are multitasking. You could be traveling for business. You are juggling multiple things at this time. Multiple things and multiple people. You could be really, really busy with work at this time. You, I, I'm hearing you threw yourself into work. So let's see what other messages come out for you. Spirit, what other messages? I hate when the cards come out like that, but sometimes they do. All right, so yeah. See, you started this because you were overthinking the situation. You were up in your head about a toxic situation that you had been putting work in, but you suddenly stopped. You stopped. I'm hearing... I'm not doing it this anymore because it's making me look like a fool. Aquarius, Aries energy. This is making me look like a fool. So I'm moving on. Cancer energy is here. I'm moving on because this is making me look like a fool. Why is this chariot card here? Chariot Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Yeah. You're moving on. From being backstabbed, betrayed, and let down, defeated. You're moving on from that energy. Yeah, you made a decision. You you made a decision to walk away from something or someone that was causing you to feel backstabbed. And that's why you threw yourself into work. Yeah, because it's going this is gonna balance you out, Libra's energy. Your work helped balance you out balance the situation out because you were feeling disappointed you were feeling disappointed because i feel like you love this person and they were being behaving immaturely could have been breadcrumbing you giving you the bare minimum acting like a child and i feel like with this king of swords you spoke your truth you threw yourself into your work and now things are balancing out for you. Yeah, you withdrew your energy from this person because you, they may be a snake. There's This is toxic energy. Capricorn's energy is here. Yeah, see? Eight of cups. You turned your back on this person. You took action and turned your back on this person because you were tired of feeling like the wounded warrior. You were tired of feeling like the wounded warrior. So you turned your back on this person and started focusing your energy on something new. Yeah, money. You started focusing on, <laughs> on your finances. So I'm seeing a, an abundance of money coming in towards you. You blocked and restricted this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're holding back from them. You made a decision to hold back from this person. To block, restrict them, and leave them out. This is something that you could be manifesting at this time, or this person is. Or you made a decision to block this person and hold back from this person because they are a trickster. They like to play games, and they were causing you some type of heartbreak. They could have put you in a third-party situation. Yeah. Yeah. They broke up a home. Someone broke up a home or um, caused some heartbreak within a home. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this person is coming back in with this judgment call card. And you're going to have to make a judgment call on and listen to your intuition. But because I feel like they're coming back in. This could be a marriage. You could be getting advice from other people. But something will be illuminated too. You will get clarity on the deceptiveness of this person. If you should stay or if you should go. 
but they're coming back in to put forth some effort to work on this because they want a new beginning because they see you taking action to love on yourself and to move away from them. What's the outcome? Overcoming obstacles in a new beginning. Is this new beginning with this, this person? Okay, I'm seeing growth here, but is it with this person? Because there is a new beginning here, but it's not saying that it's with this, this same person. A wish fulfillment. I believe it's with the same person, but I'm still seeing someone. Um, this person may be a narcissist, and I'm hearing sneaky because in this nine of what this nine of cups that's here, there is a, a rat behind this man. Like he's doing something behind this person's back. Could be pretending like they're single. Pretending like they're single. <laughs> doing things that they're um, making moves too quickly. This person could be pre pretending as if they are single. And you see like how she's alone but she has three roses in her hand if you can see that this person could be giving those roses to other people and mind you this could be masculine energy or feminine like this person may move quickly yeah because they get bored and discontent fast this person gets bored in relationships fast but again, they're coming back in to reconcile. They're coming back in to reconcile because they feel anxious because they feel like you're moving on. They feel all alone. They like they wanted to be alone, but now they don't because they feel as if you're moving on and not paying them any mind with this world card in the reverse. They want to come in and close their distance. They want to put an end to the distance between you because they feel anxious. They feel like you're moving on without them. <laughs> yeah. So the youngest person knows your worth. And they realize that you make, you make them happy. This is what could have been illuminated to them. But the question is always, will they change their way? So, I guess time will tell. It's not, it's not letting us know right now in this reading. Yeah, see, someone, um, this could be you doing shadow work, fo focusing on yourself, putting the work into, um, and release baggage, release old energy. Release a karmic relationship that no longer serves you. Focusing, blocking out things that you don't um, want to focus on. Like focusing out, focusing on the, only the things that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. And making new memories. And that's what this person sees because they know that their time is running out. They know that their time is running out. So Aries, I am going to leave it at that. This is your reading for the week of May 17th through the 23rd. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, hit, um, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend as well as this upcoming week. And I will see you next time. Bye.